I was watching a live stream earlier tonight and saw a notification from YouTube Studio. So I thought I'd jump on here and make a quick video about it to show you what to do. The first thing you should always do is open CapCut. Tap on the plus sign to create a new project. I'm going to add this clip. I'm going to tap on Canvas, Altrix Blur, and I like to choose the first blur option. I just think this looks cool if you have video that's vertical and shot on a cell phone. It now looks properly formatted for YouTube. Tap on the check mark and use the left facing arrow to go back to the main timeline. In this case, I'm going to add an animated subscribe logo with some audio. I'll pause the video. I'll tap on overlay and then add overlay. Now I need to select my animated subscribe logo. If you want to look at a clip before you add it to a project, just tap on it like this. This is the wrong clip. So I'm going to go back to the clip selection window and this is the clip that I actually want to use. So I'll tap in this circle and then tap on add. The clip will be added to the project if you add an overlay with a green screen on it. Remove that green screen background so that just your graphic appears on top of your main video clip. And reposition your graphic by just moving it to where you want it. That looks great. It doesn't interfere with the main part of the video. If you want to remove the audio from the overlay, the best way to do it is to extract the audio. With the overlay clip selected, swipe over once more. If you're looking for an option which says extract audio. This will separate the audio from the overlay clip. The audio track is located to the left of the playhead. If you want to remove it, you can simply select the audio track like this and tap on delete. The other way to do it is to use the volume control. If we select the overlay clip once more, swipe over, and this time we see that instead of extract audio, the option says recover audio. If I tap on it now, the extracted audio has been recovered. Now, if I wanted to, I should be able to turn down the volume of that audio. Tap on volume with the overlay clip selected and move this slider down to zero. Tap on the check mark. And I'll just play that one more time. The audio has been removed from both the main clip and the overlay clip. To make these changes permanent, you need to export the video. Tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner like this. Just wait patiently for the export to finish. Once it's done, you can find the completed video inside your camera roll. And this new clip that you save will have no audio either in the main clip or in the overlay clip. For more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you're notified every time I upload new videos. You can tap on Done to be taken back to the main CapCut project screen.